happens. This is great. Now the flash and dash. You already have the jet inside the site. And now you're looking for the spike plant to go down for that Astro. So that's going to be Ty Ray that's going to put that down at the default spot. But Shock Dart's coming up and raining from above. That's two players that are low on HP now for Awa Awa. And CLG Red are coming for the retake. Two of them down towards the hell for Awa Awa. We do have one for the defense on a rotation at the doorway. And that's going to be Chobo Me. But she looks at the wrong corner. First blood is going to be Madison. Quickly traded out by Animal. And they're going for that crossfire, which works perfectly here on the attacker side. CG, CLG Red are getting dropped like flies with perfect crossfire and only losing one player. Oa Oa. And she pulls back. This looks like a cat and mouse chase. Look over to your minimap right now. You can just see a flood of blue, like a wave running towards the red, trying to put out the fire. They know that that's what's happening, however. So if you are the defenders of CLG Red and you are blinded as you are, you're going to be absolutely feared for. And that is so much utility just to confirm that there's an entire stack running towards you for the retake. I tell you what, I'm impressed as to what our hour is showing right now. And look at this. Perfect utility usage, post player positions, post plan abilities. I mean, oh, I can hear in the background is going down very comfortably. Mm. And this is what they've been able to do every time. Prioritize the objective, prioritize getting the spike down, and then focus on how they can use their utility towards being able to hold off on the retake. So far, looking strong. Well, you do see the recon dart coming out. Three smokes on the staircase, too, and it's Benita that's going to get the first wall bang here for this attempt of a retake. Three players still alive, make that only two, and we are still closing in for CLG Red. Both players from Oa Oa, crossfire set up down towards the boat house, but they're unfortunately getting dropped. Madison keeping things alive, though, on a one versus one as animal. Especially if you're looking towards those players, if they do happen to commit to that, mm. looks like they won't. And they're going to go over towards Tree instead, but it doesn't really matter. They don't check their corners, and that's why you do, ladies and gentlemen, because before you know it, there's going to be a gun waiting for you as you <laughs> come storming on in. Great little flick up to the head there of Chobo, but overall, when you're in a 2v4 like this, fans, things don't look good. Definitely, especially with the pistols that they have so far. They're trying to get those ratty corners, and it worked out for a couple of the kills, but in the end, it seems as though Oa Oa will take the advantage of that. So I do like it, though. CLG ready. They sent in a drone as well, and that is a missed position from Rise there. Hannah gets a bit of a freebie, and they do commit to the A overall. That's going to be a beautiful Astra start over towards, and a Killjoy, a lockdown as well. This is going to be perfectly timed. If they don't kill the Heaven player, they won't get it out. And now they do, but they destroy the lockdown, yeah. and all of a sudden, this looks very possible for the defenders if they're quick to get on the ball. That spike will go down quite easily. They have a Rolling Thunder on top of that too. This is going to be very difficult for CLG Red to try to retake. They have to try to get as much information that is, as they can, but who do they have that actually died? It's Benita, so that's a lot of utility that's going to be lost for them to try to retake this site. At least now, Hannah, with that camera, is just going to randomly tag through the smoke and catch one, but Madison and Stephanie are still holding their grounds. It's going to be so tough for Rise right now. I think at this point, she should try to save, especially on a two versus one mm -hmm. and a rolling thunder that's available, but she's committed. She's looking down right now, one towards the health, one at the A main, and tirade for money and economy right into the next round, finally. And you still, still see that they're trying things out with the utilities to try to retake, but it just doesn't seem strong enough. They knew this was a strong position last time for players to hold over towards B main for a crossfire, and most teams have shown really good prowess with that. As the retake occurs, that's a good first pick, but the trades are far too strong for our hour. It's the pack mentality here, Van Silly. That's They've actually snuck Maddie all the way up nice. into pizza. Market control is hers. Door will be shot down. Yet again, another B play. Yeah, it's definitely going to be a split, especially with that Rolling Thunder that's actually going to attack their own teammate. But Madison still tries to get into right click misses, but she does connect onto the first kill. Animal trades it back. She's still in the back of the bowl house, and she's just getting pinged out from that recon dart. She's getting spammed through, and that already leaves one player remaining towards that B main, and she was heard running through the cyber cage. She does manage to get the kill onto Stephanie. Down to a three on one. She does have that showstopper, but she's creeping in slowly up towards this sidewalk. A, a shock dart just from behind, but Carl with the crosshair placement. Make to get met very closely by a couple of players here from Awa Awa, and it's going to be Madison. 
Surprise, you scope down, Mattis is just crouching around there, but Animal still pushes forward to even a tally up on a 4-4. They've taken this A side control for CLG Red, they do have the orb, they're gonna get the res ready into the next round, and Naomi trying to go for the off angle, but she's getting pushed, and that's where that reach comes out strong with the flashpoint, and wow. They're actually pushing all the way through spawn to B. This is one of those rare wow. strats that I haven't seen actually at all. You're going through catwalk to spawn to B. I think overall, and I think Maddie did this in the previous round, she'd snuck her way all the way up, past bike, past pizza, up to market, and she said to herself, well, actually, that's a weakness area that we're seeing here from the defenders. She's made use of it again, but she, this time she brought all the pack with her. Why not? Well, as she brought the pack, you still have Ryze at B main that was able to collect a weapon. So they have a one-person deficit, make that even Madison on that flank, blocked off by the wall to make it a two versus two inside the B site. Now as the Q comes up from the updraft, Animal is able to get the kill. We have two players that are low on HP in the back of the site. That's seven HP for Stephanie as she's the last one to go. It's a one versus one. She capitalizes on the other kill onto Animal with seven HP and makes it eight. And they're trying it. They're trying something different. Aggression now towards the A side. The fault line to try to counter back. And as you talked about Madison in that pregame, the person to highlight into this game, she is she has been popping off into this game with two trades of her own. And back on a one player advantage. Difficult for CLG Red for the retake. Because now Awa Awa has the advantage on the flank from the Cypher on mid. You are divided! We've also got a lockdown pending as well, seven seconds, and that's going to come crashing down. Hannah will grab Rise, and is that corner going to be safe enough for Carly there? We'll find out. It possibly is, and no players get detained, so that's what they're after. What is this wall called, Van Su? I don't even know its name just yet, but it's a damn beautiful one. It's a beautiful indeed. So the Divine coming out here, the Cosmic Divide, and at the same time with the lockdown, just... It's a sage wall. We've seen it. The sage. Let's go. <laughs> I'm loving it. It's a great map for it. Even oh, what a flick. Yeah. Oh. That was beautiful from Hannah because it was a beautiful lurk from Benina towards mid. They also pushed two players up towards Catwalk for a big flank towards A. So they know this hit is coming on the A side. But the thing is, they've lost that player. They've lost the important Silva again. And now it comes down to a per uh, like a... Very hard hold by Animal that she has to do at the beginning of the round. She's going to let them through, and even on that flank, they're ready for that too. Look at that. They're what? just dropping like flies. Only two more to go here for CLG Red in this last round on a five versus two of all situations. What a shame, a beautiful... F the mentality is going to be low, Van, so they've got to pick it up now. And it's desperate meshes, right? All four players moving out towards the A main, and that was a perfect flash coming out from the breach. And now Stephanie back at the generator, still connects with the kill. And the silver dar shock darts are good enough for at least a couple, but Benita is still on a two versus one with only 20 seconds. She can't fall back. She has to commit into this site, but that is to recharge her recon dart and knows that one is up towards that heaven side, trying to close this door, trying to peek through, gets the ding, but unfortunately not the kill. And then she peeks and my heart drops as quickly as she drops straight after that death. Ah, uh, Vans, oh. this is not it. We wanted a close matchup. We just watched CL, or rather C9 White completely decimate frogs. Now we're on to the dogs decimating the CLG Red. I mean, this is just crazy. It is insane, and look at that, it continues, and they're just going to try to push as a group, and it's already being stopped by Hannah. Perfect cyber cage onto the ground, but an even better paranoia to come out, but Carly's there for the trade. Only two more to try to keep this dream alive here for CLG Red on this first map, but it will not... Through my vocabulary there, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> but nevertheless, I'm enjoying the fact that we've got a Rainer on the board, because when I see it, I feel aggression, I feel hype, and I feel nasty plays, and that's going to be the first pick of the day from the Rainer. Exactly, even a first... First blood there, one watching that flank on a rotation. That's Stephanie for one, but they are set up for a trade here for CLG. So a perfect for a four on three to start things off. B side. Yeah, I, it ha it depends as well on on the comfort of of the lineups and the comfort that you have as a team. But definitely, like B would be one of those sites where it's easier to explode on an open side when you want to go for those long range battles or when you have a perfect smoke towards that towards that snowman side to block the rotation it's easier to cover it up here towards a plant on the a side the thing that's tough right now is that they didn't have a sage so it was going to be harder for them to go for a plant and speaking about sages <gasps> there's going to be that plant for the retake but we have one satchel charging in the air and both of them to fall only one left it's going to be tyre she's trying to push forward she misses out on her shots and unfortunately the defuse will come out and also the kill from ride it allows you to get the defuse out 
But now... Well, that preference towards A is now going to show because it was B before yep. Hedge, but now it's A and they're just going through the Ooh. alphabet at this point. And guess what? Benita's is going through headshots. Not a single miss until Rise comes in with the body shot with the classic. I am at like this, you know, you can really only 50-50 at half the time. They will give away a bit of a position and this should read a bit of an opportunity now for the defenders to flank. We haven't seen a lot of good flanks. I'd like to see it. But even better, we got Benita on the off going, yeah, good night, Maddie. I know you like to rock oh, it as man. well, but you're not as good as me. Yeah, well, it, we're seeing a Reyna operator this time and it's paying off here for CLG Red too. We have yet to be made into the site to try to get a plant. You saw that wall that come up, an attempt for a plant and they had to fall back from that one too. So the spike now in the hands of their Rays as it's gonna be Carly just holding back with her teammates. They're just gonna hold back towards Yellow. Try to kill Noise, try to not show themselves as of yet, trying to creep mm -hmm. up with this Nebula to try to get a plant. 30 seconds left as well. So you can hear the announcer in the background letting us know it's almost like a pressure point here for the attackers. Please make your way in, default spot, spray on through Ooh. Chobo. You're gonna get a hit if you point it right. Lash she does, she'll take down Carly. Hey, that's a beautiful shot over towards that spike as well. And Benita, she comes out as if she's been called out in the class row. And and now they are gonna work out exactly where where they're pushing on through mid. I think given they were doing A B A B sort of switch here, Vans, <laughs> my problem is now they're just trying to hit mid as if it's gonna change up some unpredictability. So far it's working. They've made it under pipe. They're moving out towards the back of orange. Madison's outside to clear out kitchen at the same time. So they have taken the B side control and also in a position where they can plant a little bit more safely. But it seems as though it's once again gonna try to go back towards that default spot as Carly is still going to manage to take down Naomi. So with such a broken buy that they have so far for the attackers, it's still paying it out in dividends, but the trades come out finally. It's a two versus one. Spike has been dropped. Chobo making it a one versus one. Somehow it falls back in the hands of CLG Red. And we're going to keep them guessing. Carly with the fake plant, and it's going to be Chobo coming out from the other side. And she, and she gets dropped by Naomi, who's anchoring the site on her own so far. Benita's already rotated out in the back of the kitchen. So, so, so she's looking out to see and spots a few towards that kitchen side as she knows this push is coming now towards this B side. So the rest of the rotation is also coming out for CLG Red. The attempt of a wall to come up it gets, it gets immediately broken down. It's going to be hard for them to try to get the plant, but at least they get it. It is going to be a low buy. It is going to be also a big flank here from Trouble oh. for a triple. And that's it. I mean, mission successful. At least Awa Awa got that plant down. Well, Hannah can try and grab a couple of picks here. They would be a little bit important for the fact that now Ow Ow is actually doing it. Slow them down, force them to have to think about what they're doing, stall tactics as best as you can, and it actually hasn't really worked. Look at that, though, with the two players detained. Imagine being able to sneak out. <laughs> oh, no, next to screen, and you don't manage to get fallen from all of that lockdown. What a shame. Wow. But Naomi, wow, that was brilliant headshots. And then she's continuing her drive-by with that vandal, only leaving Carly in the back of the site. She's only going to take one down until she gets traded out by Animal right after. And the reason why I'm saying, well, at that point then, Jess, it seems as though with this scoreline, we're a little bit shook right now for Oa Oa. Benina is now opting towards the B main. She gets a first pick. Yes, it's a four versus four, but there you go. She connects onto a second one, and things are looking easier and what? easier for CLG Red. So she's not giving them any room to breathe, nor is CLG Red overall. But that's now to a four on one. Benina looking for this ace, as we do have that Astra. Tyre sitting closely, close to the orb, looking left and right. And Benita, she just wants to hunt down for the ace. She gets it denied, but here comes the push. She gets a double kill. You might not want to be too antsy here. Catches him on a reload, <gasps> but she still goes for the triple kill. So you're chasing him on a one on one on one. And it makes it a one versus one in the end, no matter what. That was way too much ego flying at my screen right there, Vans. I'm telling you what, when you have a huge numbers advantage like that and you throw it in the bin, 30 seconds no, that screams that you are way more confident than you damn need to be in that round. Ooh, you're lucky that Omen has full HP here. But go, going up against Tyrae here, that's going to be the one saving grace because Tyrae Ty Ty hasn't missed in the past couple of kills. She heard so you don't want to risk it. And she heard a couple of footsteps too. And Rise is still oh. going around the corner. I mean, this is nothing but timing on both ends. And Tyre, though, does have the advantage because the spike is down. Now that they spot each other, the big paranoia and the smoke. And we're going for the full defuse. No, it's going to be a tap. 
Now we do have now the gravity well being pulled out, but it's still going to be Rise that comes out on top. So she saves it for. Really like that they're comboing a lot of their utility and abilities to make the maximum usage that they can and get the maximum out of it. I say that Maddie had a great Ooh. first map, can't capitalize on the second. And all of a sudden. It's a back and forth for Nita, speaking of that. The Cosmic Divide to come out for the attackers as Awa Awa is just looking for a plant here towards this B site. But you do have a lockdown to counter and things might, look, might be looking very tough for Awa Awa still. It is going to lock them out a little bit, but it's still not going to give them the full opportunity they need to be able to get that diffuse off. And that's the one thing that I'm thinking no! to myself. The flame could have played a, such a huge part. Wait. So many missed shots. Oh no, she made it happen before, but she couldn't make it happen now. Okay, well, Chobo stays alive. They also cancelled out on the flank from Benita. And with this two versus one, it's all up to Madison. And it's not going to work out, actually. No, the Benita was still able to stay. It's going to be an open site, and it's also going to be a plant. I said I wanted it explosive and they've given us that. It's almost like the credits of a movie being better than the movie itself. That's exactly <laughs> what we got here right now. That's what I want to see from CLG Red Redemption Arc. Well, if you're an anime fan like me, this is exactly what you're getting on your screen. Map number three, come at me, baby, because this looks like it's done and dusted. We are pushing over right now, trying to stay alive for our hour four on two right now. Can they keep things alive for the defenders? So far, so good. Carly and Madison going to work, putting Naomi, even if he's up and it works out on the one versus one out of bullets as Carly comes in for the no. triple kill and they will stay alive and unfortunately Jess we have gotten the Cassikers. One of my dad jokes, Chad, bear with me. I'm I'm a, a 37 year old boomer, uh, loving this game so far. But CLG Red now they do have the money right. And do you think they're going? Yeah. That's all this that is about, really. Oh no, the off shot that missed. It was a free kill there onto Benita, but at least it gets traded off, and that's a four on four. The spike has been planted. The nano swarm is being popped, but it doesn't delay the plant. It doesn't get any kills either. But at least we have a big flank. It's Hannah around the corner, but it's being spotted. It's being checked. It's being cornered, and she's gonna get flanked herself. Chobo to get the kill. A four on three as Nebulas are coming up here towards this B side. We are pushing forward. A Nano Swarm to pop out as they're trying to tap onto the spike for Awa Awa. So we are running this clock down. But it's Chobo continuing in the flank. We have another Nebula up. But Stephanie and Tyra going to work. Last one is now spotted. They know she's in towards Orange side. They're trying to spray her. They're still tapping onto this spike. There's no time. It's halfway. Chobo goes for the flick. And she does get the kill for the clutch. And it's for CLG Red. And as they read that for Awa Awa, they're actually pushing back into the A site. But here comes the recon. Here comes the Aljone. So much information to allow CLG Red just to storm into the site, but it's still, we're putting our foot on ground for Awa Awa. That's already four players to fall. Only Rise to go. And there you go. They both get popped. And here comes the push in. And the flash and dash is perfect right now for Awa Awa to take over this A site. And Benita still holding towards the heaven though. The spike will get planted at the back of the site where it's perfectly planted for sewers and for long. And as the smokes dissipate, another nebula will come out. So that's going to deny any type of retake coming in from CLG Red from Heaven. You have to focus towards spawn now. You have to focus for this flank. And the flank is going to be Naomi that wins it versus Tyre. And now the recon darts, the cyber cages to come out too. But it's still going to be Awa Awa making it very difficult for CLG Red to retake, leaving Naomi on her own. And Hannah. Let's go for a half buy. Let's try to get something done. They get the first kill down towards sewers. But the real push is happening up towards the seaside. And it's going to be Tyre and Madison over opening it up and only leaving one player on her lonesome in the back and she gets dropped as well but here comes the play it's only good for one and unfortunately stephanie it about a flank over towards you know sewers and around to grass my problem is is that b is so open you've got to block those lines aside off here it begins this is what i was after and all Ooh. of a sudden there's just going to be an absolute flurry of kills over towards the b side and that was a huge paranoia but the trade still comes out in I guess in a similar advantage now, this time for Awa Awa actually, because Chobo tried to go for the flank after, the hat of the Neuro Theft to come out, and they spot the last two players on both extremities of this B side, Benita with the Operator, and you already see the Aftershock to come out just to try to slow her down. They're trying to close in on that gong as you mentioned, Jess, and it works out. Arise is about to get flanked, and she reads it perfectly to get the last one, and as she moves forward, I don't know why she still has the knife out, but what? it's back to one versus one, and because... Ollie on to Animal, and that was probably an unnecessarily aggressive push-up C-Long. I know what they wanted to do and getting that initial pick may have done wonders and we've said before Vans that we wanted them to do something different if things aren't working. That probably wasn't it.
They, and the bait was perfect too for Awa Awa because they really wanted to let themselves get tagged and so that they could push down there was somebody else on the left side of C. But with that though, it gives an open side an easy take, but actually maybe not because we've rotated already quickly towards the A side. Such a victory here for CLG Red has greatly increased. Uh, okay, maybe not anymore. Tyra hit a perfect <laughs> flank there back towards the, uh, the garage window to make sure that she cuts that rotation. And we're back in full effect here with Awa Awa on the pulse plant. God, I thought that Sova rotation was going to be perfect. Same. It was timed perfectly. Everything looks good on the mini-map to be able to collect the player coming for the plant. And then a little peek through a garage and you're gone. And that's how things play out here in Valorant. Unfortunately, you're not going to have the angle you thought you did because all of a sudden someone will swing around and oh, you're forced to take a gunfight you're not prepared for. Speaking of not prepared... First one is going to get spotted, and it's the perfect bait right now for Benita because you still have Rise in the back of the site. You want to make them focus on that. The paranoia to come out to you, and they drop two. Make that even the third, thanks to, thanks to the Bucky, as we mentioned, inside the garage. But now the first flanker, it is going to be a one versus one. Naomi spots the Hannah down towards that grass side, and it's looking to be a flawless on this mixed buy that they have, especially when they know where Hannah is at, down towards that grass, pinned, sandwiched, cornered. And now she's just going to try to maybe see if CLG Red can do the same type of mistake that they did on Icebox, where they peek one mm -hmm. by one. And there's that first one. Surely they don't make that mistake again. It is unnecessary to do so. You might have that seven rounds abound oh. on the other side, but you need everyone you can work with. When I always talk about momentum. You got four or five, you can run away with this, but the, the momentum could fall oh. back into your favor at the same time too, where it could really tie things up. And so far, it has been. We have a res from an early drop, an early push as well, but it's still going to be a, a, an even situation right now for an a site attempt for Awa Awa. The biggest thing I'm noticing here is that both teams are really loving the whole flank situation. Look how much they've had to commit to this. What they've done now is wrap all the way around and decide, you know what, a site's not the place. Mm -hmm. We're going to go shifting over to see where there might be a little bit of freedom. Redemption. Guess where there's not freedom? It's Stephanie getting peeked out by the operator of Chobo and... That was a player that I really did expect uh, with the... Uh, ...rise once again, setting things up with the paranoia. With the crossfire from Benita, actually, I didn't see her hiding out towards that graffiti. And it's been a little bit too late on this push inside. And that recon dart spots them both. And that's going to be Benita, a 3k. So her from... ...in a row. And now this is going to be the momentum where if you get this round for CLG, you could potentially see them on an eco on the next. But... They're not ready for that yet for Awa Awa. They don't want to fall. They start with a Rolling Thunder into the site to capitalize on two kills. And now the A site has been weakened out. We have to play the retake. Spike planted. That was really well played from Naomi. It was like she was running away from, you know, someone chasing her. She was trying to get that cyber cage up and she was like, all right, I'm good to go. I'm getting out of here. So much ability, so much coming at her. And of course, a drop down into no. hell. That's going to be a blinded player, but missed shots. Oh, no. You don't need three players. How many women does it take to shoot down Stephanie? <laughs> I don't know. Far too many if you ask me, Vans. But they get the job for a team to, when they take it to a third map. Beautiful Hunter's Fury. They'll get one for the trouble in Benita. She makes that work. We were just raising her on her utility Ooh. usage and her ability usage. And... Well, Naomi, she's not far behind the likes of Benita and her ability to make those shots hit, count and hit, really. Yeah, we're, we're finally changing things around for CLG Red in terms of confidence. Stephanie, a little bit shaky, but still wins that one versus Benita, and that opens up the B side. We're trying to push in. We do have some cloud bursts and some flashes coming out from Breach as Stephanie. We're trying to slow things down as well for CLG, so great utility usage from both sides, but it's going to be three players of CLG Red coming out from the A choke point and even trying to out push out towards C so they can go towards the C link to the C site. We're still good for one kill for Naomi, but the neural theft then comes out, and we have the plant. But still, a one-woman advantage for CLG Red. Popping up that camera is going to do a world of wonders as well. I mean, that's depending if the Cypher can get into a spot of safety for the moment to be able to use it. Oh wow. no, the paranoia, that was so perfectly placed there. Oh, no way you can outdo a retake that's so perfectly aligned. In this first round. 
Off the lower bracket is where you don't want to catch yourself out and where you don't want to be caught is in the knife end of Maddie son. She's going to be able to come bursting into sight, make it work. She'll pop the rest of the knives through the smoke, but no one's there to collect. And although she read the situation well, that's a perfect tailwind. A dash away and all of a sudden, it's looking like the attackers have the leg up here. The advantage on this round, Huge I've flash. never seen so many flashes coming out from <laughs> there's still many many rounds to go and speaking of those rounds it is going to be a fast one here for this particular round attack is what in and they want this spike down Oof. fast missed shots from hannah means turbo gets a freebie with the frenzy that was a, a nice little surprise like a peekaboo just up drafting into the window <laughs> and frenzying your opponent and i like that she falls back at the bottom because right now they could say hey she's playing towards hell but maybe they don't know that there's a second player just hiding at the bottom with her right there and now the owl drone is going to spot two more towards that spawn. They're in a great position for CLG Red right now to win this piss around as Benita, she's looking back towards his long side. She has a recon dart once this wall breaks. This is going to be so difficult right now for Awa Awa to retake. We're probably going to, well, as I say that, they drop two and make that even a third. And it's a two versus two. We're pushing through the smoke. What a right click and Madison comes in, but maybe not enough time. We do have the shadow step that came out from the omen at the same time as rise but everybody's pushing in from garage into the seaside but it's not paying off everybody's getting dropped here for a clg red and our hour are looking for a flawless gets quickly denied though by animal down towards that site elisa spike has been planted a slow orb but a wall bang from stephanie and animal trades it out this is a bonus round at least for animal and company a clg on the defender side and look at that even when you have a full gun round they've walked into an empty site with all five players sending up on that side with no lurks so you kind of have an idea of how they're playing it even though you don't have that footage really good use of the abilities and utility here and it's going to keep raining out as the retake occurs you can tell that that cyber cage was unfortunately thrown a little bit too far in the corner and they wanted to be able to use it finally they do recon bolts will give away situation and look at that that's a red blue red blue if i've ever seen it is a christmas time dancing because <laughs> Why are we consistently seeing these open sites? Well, probably because it's a triple site map and overall <laughs> that's a lot to spread yourself thin. So I'm not going to yell at the defenders of Owa Owa too much. What I am is if they don't put themselves together for a nice retake, this is possible. And <gasps> the Omen outplayed and outgunned in the totals. And that's going to be a beautiful move out of situation of disaster Oof. as they come raining through from the attacking or rather the defending side. And that three player is moving in. The, the flash is out from breach and that's allowed Tyre to get two kills and they've overtaken the site. We have nothing but smokes coming up towards the front seaside and even a rolling thunder. This is going to be so hard for them to try to come through and that allows Animal to push forward. That's two kills, but do they have enough time this time again? They should because it was already a halfway rise and you see it right now and she's going to win that fight. This could pull the rotation and allow right now CLG Red to go towards A, but they decide to push towards C instead. I'm watching the minimap right now and I'm a little bit worried here for the attackers. Have they read this properly? Have they read this appropriately? Gong position in the hand of Rise, who hasn't missed so far, but will finally show us they can. Oh no. And Tyre locking down onto B. What's this rotator we're seeing? What's happening Oof. down the bottom? Oh god, Surprise. the scope onto Chobo. Yeah, that surprise didn't work out to the uh, Jets' favor there. Even there, she gets a shot into Benita. I'm just, I'm just exclaiming a huge oh no because it was perfect there for CLG Red, how things worked out. With Ryze lurking out towards that C side and getting that first kill, she did force to rotate out towards that B side over to C, and they already had three players committed down towards that A site. So if, they already, if they're already in here for CLG Red, looking for a plant here towards this B side, and this is something very standard right now, put the wall up, go for a plant, and just play the pulse plant because you do have a, a weaker advantage in terms of the weaponry right now for the attack. But this is perfect. We haven't really reacted yet for the defenders, and we're playing our off angles to try to hold things off. Ooh. All of a sudden, those pop shots coming through the smoke are going to pay huge dividends as well. Oh my goodness, you got to hit those shots, and Maddie does. Chobo, who is hitting shots in previous maps, is going to be the victim. And some good oh shots from Maddie here. Redemption story. Can it be Benita? The captain's going head to head. Who's who? It's Benita. That's who. And she's going to. CLG Red continues to stick together. Where it worked out, the lurks, maybe they, they got punished for that one. This time it's like, okay, let's stick together. Let's get it done. They do get it done. It's going to be another five versus five. If you've mentioned it, Jess, what is up with these open sites? It's just that you want to play this retake because you do have an aspect.
Caster that's going to help out. You do have a Breach with the Fault Line that's going to help out. But so far, it's it's paying off. There is that that divine that cosmic divide that's going to come out too. And but it's still going to be Animal that's staying alive. Back and forth as we go on a three, make that a two versus two. We are trying to stick up onto this spike, and it's still going to be Ti Ray. That's going to be able to take the last two. That's going to be it. She's going to get the defuse. They definitely were correct on that one. They, they threw a fake up towards that E side. You had Rise lurk up towards C. And now because of that, it's going to be another five on five. But here's the tough part. There is going to be a rolling thunder for Awa Awa. And we've seen what they did with the last ultimate for the retake that paid off. And how they were so aggressive coming back from the defender side. That paid off in their favor as well. And that's the first kill. But it's getting traded out. Still at a woman advantage for Awa Awa. And here comes the Astro Stars onto the ground. We're trying to get the eyes up from Chobo. There is that rolling thunder. It's still a three versus three. They have the Hunter's Fury. They're countering back here for the defender side, but it's still going to be a two on two. And Benita still pulling out the Hunter's Fury onto another player, but we are sticking onto the spike and <gasps> Chobo does get the kill with 0.8 seconds to go and CLG Red are now They know that this is going to occur here. They've done a C retake before. They need to pull it out. They know that Garage has been a problem as well. They've actually buried it off because it has been a problem in their previous pushes. Is this the answer? And you see it, they're playing a little bit more close into the site. And oh man, that's a huge aftershot that damages Rise down to 37. She does get the heal. The flashes are coming out as well, but she does have support from her players in the front of the site. She's trying to bait them out and she baits them perfectly for these kills. And that's a two versus one. Can we get the clutch coming in? She's coming in from the long side. A res to come out as well. Hannah has a lot to do and she has a lot in her hands. Thankfully, she does have a phantom. That clock is ticking down and she's moving up back and forth. And that, there you go. That's not going to happen as she crosses. That is very aware. She's trying to pop out a couple of those shocks to make sure that the push doesn't happen so quickly. Give her teammates an opportunity to Ooh. respond and respond they do. It's Animal and she's able to come swinging. This is why you check your corners because all of a sudden you might have... G-Red, look at the timeline of the scoreboard, Jess. They've lost seven rounds in a row when they were taking the attacker oh, side first. Wow. So for them to allow to come back here into their... Uh, their usually do on that exactly, side and that exactly. is what counts the most you want to be able to walk away on your confident side here with the win they know that it's going to be a b push now and i tell you what as the circle ensues here van you got to talk me through it because i guarantee it's going to be tricky 100 percent we're already super close from the c uh, the c link and also the a link but we've fallen back in the b side as well a nice wall bang from naomi and we're just going to push back up naomi's going to try to sell a fake everybody else is working towards this a sign so naomi just waiting for this wall to break while she could lurk out but the rest of them are executing towards this a site good read i do see one of the defenders rotating over very aware and the sofa as well will rotate over through the defenders rotates very quick there we go naomi's in a really good spot though does hannah know about this this is going to be crucial this will be the round that wins clg red this game i'm certain of it one two make it end for me baby and yes